Generally through technology, um, the, the biggest way they've assisted us is through the assistance in filing our Humdol R on an annual basis. They provide the CRA Wiz software that has been fabulous to use both from a data collection standpoint and collecting the data and preparing the Humdol R for filing in March of every year. And then on the other side, with that as well as with uh, Fair Lending Wiz, allowing us to analyze the data that we have collected and drive business decisions based on Fair Lending Wiz data that we, that we derive from the software has been invaluable to allowing us to, um, to, to manage our business. I think it's not knowing what to expect in the changing regulatory environment. We've moved a little bit away from traditional regulations where you can go to the books and find out what Reg Z says, apply what Reg Z says, and then um, implement to that. However, in the world we live in now, that's a UDAP world, or the added A, the, the UDAP world. Um, it, it's a little more ambiguous of what you are supposed to be implementing, and in today's world and today's regulatory environment, uh, you, you sometimes implement to the letter of the regulation or the law. However, that's not always good enough. So not knowing what you don't know and where the regulatory focus is and where the regulatory focus can be at any time is really number one that keeps me up at night. The second item that keeps me up at night is trying to identify adequate staffing. In the compliance world, we are all trying to find good qualified people to bring on to our staff. Unfortunately, the demand these days with the regulatory changes uh, has put compliance professionals in, in limited supply, and that's where we have to become more creative than we ever have before, such things as engaging consultants for staff augmentation and doing a lot of consultancy work, sort of like what Walters Corps can do on the consultancy side to assist us in operationalizing compliance as well as providing augmentation where we really need it. Um, in, the, in the next five years, I can see some of the traditional uh, compliance topics still being front of mind. I can still see fair lending being front of mind, especially with the aggressive focus that we're taking now. UDAP will still be front of mind for, for both banks as well as regulators. Hopefully in that five year time frame, those will be easier to operationalize because we had some history with the CFPB and with other prudential regulators with the new rules. So hopefully we will have more guidance as it relates to those traditional paramount reg regulations. As far as for other new products and services, I think one of the issues is going to be building services that effectively meet the needs of the millennials at the same time not forgetting that you have baby boomers that have actually retired or are right on the verge of retirement and ensuring that you're able to adequately provide for their needs through retirement with both advice and product solutions as well as meeting the alternate delivery channels of the millennials. One of the biggest things that I think that is going to happen in the next five years is the reduction of the number of physical brick and mortar branches with the advent of remote deposit capture um, as well as some other online technologies that, 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 that have become prevalent over the last five years or so. And what that's going to mean is that a lot of your older retired communities or your baby, baby boomer, boomer communities, they are not going to be able to get the same service as they're used to and they will, may not have that local branch anymore. So ensuring that you meet your CRA obligations as it relates to serving all members of your community while bringing up the, the new generation and, and meeting their credit needs as well as their deposit needs and also not forgetting about the generation of, uh, of the baby boomers. I think that trying to provide services to both of those is going to be a challenge in the industry. In the industry.